Let's see. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I have the camera over here, but the screen's up there, so I'll do my best to look at the camera, but I sometimes look at myself up there as I'm talking. So welcome, happy Friday, everyone. That's uh, another great week, I would say. Now, the email we sent out this morning was building upon the email that we sent out yesterday. Um, it is no exaggeration, we are hiring 100 regional vice presidents because it is that moment where Rhino takes that next step. You see, Rhino has always cautiously grown. And we've always said that, that was never a surprise because everything that we had ever done was being invented as we moved forward. So to ever get so emotionally charged to be reckless and say, okay, you know what? This is a great idea. We should go ahead and um, uh, expand to the whole world uh, would have always been quite irresponsible because what we've learned is we've learned a lot of what we didn't know that we didn't know. Um, and every part of Rhino has been something to the effect of, oh, this is a good idea. Well, actually I thought it was, but this idea moved to this idea. And now it's finally at the point where we've built enough infrastructure over the course of enough time um, with enough advice from a large enough, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, sampling, not sampling, but um, I don't know. With, with enough rhinos involved that we feel quite confident that going forward, not, not much is going to change. Like things will change, but the structure won't change. Like we feel like we invented the car. We might change the color. We might change, um, uh, you know, the air freshener in it. We might change the shape of it. It might be a convertible later on, but we're fairly certain it's going to still have four tires. We're fairly certain it's going to have an engine. We're fairly certain you're going to have to put gas or electricity or some type of energy in it for it to drive. Like that stuff is now done, which means we can now scale going forward. So what is the value proposition of Rhino, right? Well, we've always maintained that we've developed between Rhino Bucks and Rhino Street, which make up Rhino Retirement, the ability for the 99% to, for the ability for the 1% to start transferring money back to the 99% in the form of Rhino Bucks. Because population is presumed to be infinite, population can always go ahead and invest that next dollar. If population agreed to do so at a, at, at a scheduled upon time, and agree to do it going forward, well, the agreed upon asset, if limited, would go up forever, right? Infinite demand, limited supply, you equal price appreciation forever. Now, easier said than done, of course, because you have to have everyone in the world agree, which is certainly not an easy feat, but the way Rhino stands right now, because we've slowly and cautiously grown, our agreed upon, um, our agreed upon uh, uh, investor, our agreed upon plans are what, 319. The world has like 8 billion people in it. We have a long runway to go. And now once this 99% is able to go ahead and transfer back the wealth, well, what are they gonna do with it? It might just get taken right back from them. Well, so to be able to identify how the money's been siphoned out of the communities by identifying social media and search engines as the mechanisms that allow corporations to add marketing dollars to tracking your data and then picking you off one by one, taking the money out of the community. So instead of you buying shoes from Lou's Shoes, you buy it from Nike. We needed to go ahead and figure out a way to, to stop that, to kind of force field that. And that's Rhino Street. Rhino Street is a completely localized search engine, zero marketing, zero revenue, zero, it's a nonprofit, right? Now, I know nonprofit is a tax designation. It's not tax designated nonprofit because who would, you know, it doesn't make anything to begin with. So we don't need to go through the difficulty of signing up as a nonprofit and having the government scrutiny because that is what they do. When you're a nonprofit, you pay no taxes. So the government really makes sure that that's not abused, which they should, no one says otherwise. But if we're not making income to begin with, why invite that type of um, oversight? So it's not tax designated nonprofit, but it's a nonprofit. That being said, it allows, it is able to identify user location by latitude and longitude, 
and offer search results within a 20 mile calculation of that latitude and longitude. So effectively, by definition, no matter where you are in the entire globe, it is local community because you could only get search results within 20 miles of you. Now, because there is no marketing or, or, or nothing of the effect, a Walmart, for instance, can only, only be listed in one location, right? Well, actually, they could be listed in a lot of locations because they have a lot of places, but that's where we stepped up and said, you know what, we're just not going to list them. Because it is our search engine, we have the discretion of who we allow to patronize our product. And we've said from day one, we're never going to allow large corporation. Now, if it is a, a franchise owner, that's okay, right? That franchise owner owns that company in that location. He's only in one place. But the days of Walmart being able to send different ads to different people all over the globe are gone. When you're on Rhino Street, you will only see your local community. Therefore, if you're able to siphon, if you're able to transfer the wealth back to your community, because again, if you have infinite demand, limited supply, price goes up. Price is in money. Money is limited. It is finite. Therefore, the higher the dollar amount goes here, the less the dollar amount goes elsewhere because the money, there's only so much money in the world. So if this is going up, something else is going down. That's what we define as transfer. So as long as we have this engineer to continue going up forever, the transfer will last forever. And because we're able to go ahead and identify that transfer and then keep it within house by force fielding the local economy, the local community, that is the value proposition that's Rhino. That is changing the world because that is quite opposite of what we have today. That being said, I believe that is a message that will resonate with everyone in the world. I don't see why it wouldn't. And I can promise you, I don't know what I don't know. So it will come to a point where someone says to me, well, Ant, in this location, whether, you know, I was just talking to one of our rhinos from South Africa, Anthony, in this location, it's got to be a little different. We have rhinos in Malaysia, in Canada, in France, in Spain, in Brazil, in South Korea, in Russia. It, 189 different countries i can promise you that the that what that community needs is different in all 189 because you have culture here's the thing rhino street is 20 mile radius therefore it's self-policing there will never be a time that somebody says oh my god i searched something in russia and i got um french culture in it right and i don't like what they do right like i'm against the menage a trois or whatever whatever the case may be, but that would never actually happen because you can only search your community. Therefore, it's self-policing, meaning every one of our rhinos can go ahead and bring this to any community in the world. And that community, it's, it's not that we're not letting them use something, we're giving them something because we have no control over it, right? It's their zip code, it's their location, it's their community. We just wanna be able to offer that to them. And when someone says Aunt, nothing is free, well, they're right, nothing is free. Just because we're not charging for it doesn't mean it's not free. The whole Rhino vision is that Rhino Street plus Rhino Bucks equals Rhino Retirement. So those that are part of Rhino Street are certainly going to be inclined to be receptive to, and what's this Rhino? like this i'm going to be uh, receptive to that and again that doesn't go to any one person it's not like there's a profit uh center somewhere but because everyone owns it everyone benefits from it that's how you effectively siphon the wealth of the world from the one percent to the 99 percent keep it in house and distribute it amongst everyone that deserves it that is how you effectively identify the value of population and actually act on it so if we're able to share this message, do you think that there's anyone in your community that wouldn't want to go ahead and be a part of something that is making them money and at the same time protecting their community? And at the same time, everyone always says on the, the thing that they want on their epithet, the thing that they want to be known for is that they were part of building something, that when something came, they had the opportunity, they had the vision to jump on it, sacrifice for it, and go for it. So we are hiring 100 regional vice presidents. When you hear me talk, you can understand the passion, but over the course of the next week, we're going to go ahead and draw out a very, very um, itemized, like a, like a syllabus, right? This isn't one of those, 
okay and get in and then you like find yourself philandering somewhere and you're like no one's talking to me i don't know what to do you know anthony as rhino in terms of stewarding um the company now you're going to know anthony as rhino in terms of stewarding the team that actually makes the sausage right i can promise you they're different people they're both wildly nice and blah 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 but the anthony that stewards rhino in terms of team members that has to be accountable to the public at large as well as every investor that's in it is very diligent is very dot i's cross t's this needs to happen let's get it done which means i'm never ever going to leave someone wondering what to do next because that makes my hair fall out right like everyone always knows what they're doing next in fact if you could see the group chat in our team every single morning it's like i have like 10 bullet points for five people um, which you will see because you're going to be in the slack channel dear anthony what about the cost of rhino themselves how is the quality of the platform insured technical so that's that's the team right so eve to your point our team members that are already in rhino we have a uh director of rhino street so director of search we have director of app development we have a director of um community engagement so salesforce uh we have director of concierge so making sure that our community is always um well informed and always has access and then you have me now there are more positions we'd like to hire right like we would like to have a a director of public relations uh director of marketing there are positions and we still need to fill out positions we want to add more um uh, more back-end software developers. We want to add more positions to the department. So those will grow. The funds to grow them will be Rhino, right? So Rhino, as Rhino Research LLC, like the company that owns, like the, what's it called? The parent company owns 100 million Rhino coin. Rhino coin, I keep calling it Rhino coin because I love that, uh, Rhino bucks. About 60% of it is owned by investors, right? Like I'm not, I'm the largest shareholder, but I'm not a majority shareholder by myself. I, in my ownership of Rhino, have 40 million coin. That coin is not going into Anthony's pocket so Anthony could go live off as like a billionaire somewhere. That sounds like the most boring thing I could ever do in my life. In fact, I was looking at, um, they have the lottery. I think it's like a 1.2 billion. If I won it, I can promise you, you would never know it. I'd be right here the next day. But the point of me saying that is with that 40 million coin, I'm going to self-invest into Rhino because Rhino represents me. Like I am Rhino. Um, and I love that everyone else is Rhino, but like, like this is like a brain, like if, if you could put, if you could take Anthony and put him into like a thing, that's what this is, right? So we will be self-investing in the in the team members going forward to build out those. Um, yeah, you don't have many friends. No, I don't. Um, to further build the company. Um, and then in terms of these, uh, the regional vice presidents, every single one of you are going to be so important because so Tuesday, we're going to identify the winners, right? I'm going to send offer letters to every single individual that has that is in the top 100 of those that shared Rhino this weekend, which, by the way, we did not see much movement on it yesterday, maybe because it was a Thursday and this is going till Tuesday, whatever the case may be. A few people made it very no, very known that they want to win this by their behavior. Um, I believe there might be some others that that are of the impression that um, well, they know Rhino, so they're automatically going to be one of the hundred. Rhino hires passion. And the best way to go ahead and illustrate passion is to say, you know what? I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just get it done. And anyone that hears me saying that and says, oh, well, Ant, you're like, you're asking for something too much. That is the DNA of Rhino. You could ask any one of the team members. We come up with crazy ideas, and that's where it starts. Anthony, this can't be done. That's where the conversation begins, not where it ends. Um, so please, please, please get on the share Rhino. Let's get it going. The top 100 will get those offer letters Tuesday. Then Thursday, we're going to email each, well, maybe Wednesday, right? Email each and every one of you and say, what is it that you're best at, right? Is it email marketing? Is it amplifier? Is it going door to door? 
Is it social media marketing? Is it you have an email list? You have a lot of friends? Is it that you work in a job that allows you to communicate with others? Um, what is it that you feel like would be the biggest value proposition that you can bring to Rhino? And it's not because um, we're still interviewing you. No, you're, you're in. It's because we want to put you in the best position to succeed. I want to know, Rhino wants to know, what are you best at? And let's go support that, right? There's no, there's no benefits. And I never understood this, where someone takes someone that's good at something, then changes them and thinks that they're going to be good at something else. Whatever you're good at, that's what we want to support. The goal being that you can grow the awareness of Rhino within your region as a metric of new members signed up. Now, that's not... Um, Every new member is going to be making money uh, because the coin always goes up. Every new member is going to be sharing with other people. So you effectively can go ahead and bring the solution to a place that doesn't even know that there's a question being asked. And I find that a lot of times, especially with new startups, the biggest difficulty, the biggest bridge to get across, the biggest hurdle is that the person always believes, oh my God, this is my friends and family. This is my community. Because people always think that they're more important than they are. Um, and I don't mean that offensively. Like if you go to a party and you're like, I can't leave till it ends. That's only because you say that if you left, others would say, oh, I guess you left early. No big deal. Right. Um, but yet you would cause yourself agony. I'm so tired. I'm falling asleep. I want to leave, but I can't. Uh, the point being within your community, don't overthink it. You've been a part of this for how long you're here with us every single day. You see the numbers, you hear the message, you have the access. This is the best platform. This is the best opportunity where you can go ahead and say, you know what? This is where I make my stand. This is that thing. In which case, if you're right, which I'm promising you're right, because I know that's the thing, right? Like, duh. Um, you'll be remembered in that area. And it's not that you're doing this for legacy, but anyone that brought Google to that area, Anyone that brought Facebook to that college, um, they're doing quite well today because they're looked at as, and in fact, if you listen to CNBC, it's like, oh, and this guy was the angel investor of Uber. What did you see in Uber? Well, a lot of people didn't like it. This guy, Travis Kalnick, was out of his mind. Um, they were losing money every day, but I believed in them. And, um, you know, I just stuck with it. Because you gotta remember, popular opinion sways. One minute they like you, one minute they don't. So don't worry about overthinking what will others think. If you believe it in your heart, then you do it. Um, I'm eight minutes over. I see a couple of chats in here. Let me just see if I could address them really quick. That was my question. The parent company between Rhino Street and Rhino Coin. How is this comes in the whole picture? Just for clarity, where is the income is coming and self-sustaining? So there is no income. No, but the company doesn't make any money. The company owns coin. The coin is then reinvested to grow the platform. That coin needs to go up so that the funds are always there to reinvest in the platform, which means Rhino is completely and perfectly aligned with all of its shareholders. Every single person that owns Rhino is in the same boats because Rhino doesn't receive income. Nobody here has ever said, oh, I'm part of Rhino. Let me pay my $10 dues this month. They're not. In fact, all of your coin right now, you could go sell and you know, I would really have a tough time buying it all, but I would because that's what Rhino does. Um, so to your point, Eve, we don't have income. Everything is based on the coin. Coin is my report card. Coin is um, the engine or the gasoline, I guess. Tuesday is election day, but it's not a bank holiday. Well, Monday, my daughter's being born, so I'm unavailable Monday. Uh, so that's why I keep saying Tuesday. What's a bank holiday? The US is another thing for voting when you can. Rhino box, Rhino rocks, love it. V, I mean, V, Eve, love you. 100% uh, believe in Rhino, thank you, and much more to come. Amazing. All right, nine minutes over. I'm going to do my best not to be 10 minutes over. I absolutely love everyone. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Please get on and share Rhino. Please, 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 please. Love you. Bye.